Hello one and all, I am Seisha Vithya, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at RMK College of Engineering Technology. So today we are going to discuss uh, implementation of Boolean function using multiplexer circuit. So this is for example, implement the following Boolean function using 4 into 1 multiplexer circuit. So in this uh, we are going to consider solution variables so n is equal to the number of variables n is equal to 3 so a b c selection lines the formula is n minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so you can just assume that selection lines as s1 s0 and then the type of the multiplexer that has to be used sometimes i may mention that uh, the type of the multiplexer sometimes i may not in that case we have to find the type of the multiplexer that has to be used the formula is 2 power n minus 1 to 1 multiplexer that is 2 power 3 minus 1 is 2 so therefore 2 power 2 to 1 which which is nothing but 4 to 1 multiplexer so number of input lines 2 power n minus 1 so 2 power 2 that is nothing but 4 so here to implement this uh, boolean function using this multiplexer there are some instructions so that is we have to construct the implementation table so in that what you have to do is so first we have to uh, consider that the given function that has to be circled that is first we have to mention the all the min terms according to the number of variables given in the implementation table and then we have to uh, let's make the circle mark for the given mean terms in the implementation table once it is circled then we have to follow three conditions so what are they is in here the well, that is if both the mean terms in the column are not circled then you have to apply the zero to the corresponding input Suppose if the body min terms in the column are circled, then you can just apply 1 to the corresponding input. And sometimes if the bottom min term is circled and top is not circled, then we can just apply C to the input. C is nothing but the last variable uh, given in the function. Suppose if the top min term is circled and at uh, the same time bottom is not circled, in that case we can just apply C bar. That is the complement of the variable to the input. So this is a procedure to construct the implementation table. So here yeah, this is the implementation table. So they have just given three variables. So which will have uh, eight mean terms that is from zero to seven. And we are going to use four into one multiplexer. So which will have four inputs D0, D1, D2, D3. And here it is mean terms from zero to seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here it is. The last variable is nothing but C. So the first row we will be considering C bar. For the second row we will be considering it as C. So here we are going to follow that three conditions. Since in the first column, since both the min terms are not circled, so that we can just apply 0. And here both the min terms are circled, so we can just apply 1 to the corresponding input. In the third column, here the bottom min term is circled, so that the corresponding variable is C, so we can write C. And in the last column, since the top min term is circled, the corresponding variable is C bar, so you can just write it as C bar. Now we can just uh, draw the circuit that's multiplexer implementation 4 into 1 multiplexer 4 inputs d0 d1 d2 d3 two selection lines s1 s0 the remaining two variables are a and b here according to this that is from this implementation table we have to connect to the d0 to d3 so from the table what is d0 is equal to it is 0 so d0 is grounded d1 is equal to 1 so d1 that has to be given to the 1 d2 is equal to c so that can be connected to c here and T3 is equal to C bar that has to be connected to complement of the C. So likewise you can just implement any multiplexer that is any boolean function using multiplexer circuit. So let us take the one more example. So f of x, y, z is equal to uh, summation of 1, 2, 6, 7. So again it is in 3 variable and it has 4 mean terms. We can just construct the implementation table. And uh, uh, again the formulas we can just... Uh, Use that the previous um, problem of, that is values and to uh, find out the, the type of the multiplexer that has to be used for the implementation. So obviously since it has three variables and it has uh, three, three variables so the formula is that 2 power n minus 1 to 1 multiplexer. So obviously here also we are going to use 4 into 1 multiplexer. So implementation table d0, d1, d2, d3 and what is the last variable it is nothing but z. So for the first row we are just assuming it as a z bar and for the second row we are just we can taking it as z now 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 that is 0 to 7 totally 8 min terms 
Now the given function is 1, 2, 6, 7. So you can just make the circle mark for the 1, 2, 6, 7. Now you have to, you have to just look into the column wise. In the first column, since both the min terms are not circled, so that we can just apply 0. In the second column, the first that is a, the topmost min term is circled, so that the corresponding variable is z bar. We can write it as z bar. In the third column, since both the min terms are circled, so we can just apply 1 to the corresponding input. In the last one, the bottom uh, that is a second row min term is circled, the corresponding variable is z. So we can write it as z. So likewise, you have to implement the table. That is a way we have to construct the implementation table. Now you can just implement using multiplexer. Since we are going to use 4 into 1 multiplexer, so D0, D1, D2, D3, two selection lines S1, S0, and the remaining min terms, that is the remaining variables are X and Y. Why? Because already I considered that the last variable Z for the implementation table. So what is D0? From this, D0 is equal to 0, so that has to be grounded. And then D1 is equal to Z bar, so D1 that has to be connected to Z bar. D2 is equal to 1, so that can be connected to 1 or to the plus 5 volt, both are same. And D3 is equal to Z. So likewise, you can just connect it. And finally, only one output. So likewise, any uh, that is a Boolean expression that can be implemented using multiple circuit. So these are all the other uh, examples. P, Q, R is four variables. And this is a given function, SOP function. So you can just construct the implementation table. Four variables. So you should have mean terms from 0 to 15. The last variable is S, so we can just consider S bar, S here. The same procedure that, is, that has to be followed. Finally, we can just implement using 8 into 1 multiplexer. Similarly, here also. And if you just look into this third sum, F of A comma B comma C comma, C comma D is equal to, here it is given in the form of POS. Please uh, uh, remember that always any SOP function that can be implemented using multiplexer. Suppose, if you have just given that uh, POS function, then we have to consider that is, we have to con convert that POS into SOP that has to be considered for the implementation. For example, here it is POS function is given 0, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14 is nothing but POS. Obviously, what is the SOP? The remaining, that is the missing terms. What are they? 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, then 11, 13, 15. So, that has to be considered in this implementation table. Please always remember the given function should be only in SOP form. Okay, suppose if POS form is given, then we have to convert that into SOP and then we can just implement using multiplexer. So, these are some, uh, that's a uh, implementation using multiplexer. This is for your practice. Please uh, do this one. And if you just look into the third one, again it is in, uh, it's given in terms of Boolean expression, but what's the function is, it's a non-standard one. So, you have to convert that non-standard into standard and then we have to apply for the implementation. So, okay. Thank you. I hope you understood this uh, implementation of multiplexer. Thank you.